transition at the position? Just how are you doing right now? Uh, good. I mean, uh, you know, I just got to, you know, my, I mean, I expressed kind of, you know, what I wanted to as far as publicly, uh, you know, in my message that, that I put out there. Um, you know, obviously I have my own, you know, opinions or feelings on the matter. Um, but, uh, you know, my thing is, you know, I, I talked to guys earlier this year that, you know, felt slighted at certain positions and I just kind of told them, I was like, you know, you can never, you know, when you have your own feelings, your own things about what's going on with you on the field, just never have that become a distraction, you know, to the team. Uh, so that's something I'll never do. I'll never be selfish like that to become a distraction to our team. Um, you know, like I said, I'm just going to continue to to work. Um, obviously, I have stuff I need to work on. So, uh, continue to get better and just uh, make sure that I'm ready to go. But when you're when you're the man for as long as you have, been, how tough has it? How tough is it? Uh, it's. I mean, yeah, it's weird, right? Like, uh, it's just it's just different meetings, different on the field. It's boring. It's boring sitting out there doing nothing. So. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's tough. Obviously, you know, I, I believe in myself and I want to be the guy. I want to be out there at all times, um, you know, but I believe in uh, all, all three of the quarterbacks we have in that room uh, and the guys that are making decisions up top. Does that drive change the way? Have you learned anything about yourself and just this is sort of a different kind of adversity for you? Have you learned anything about yourself in the last few years? Uh, I have and I think I, I will continue to. You know, I think, uh, you know, I'm just not going to be somebody to kind of like, you know, you know, panic and, you know, press the alarm. Um, you know, in my life, I, I've faced a lot of tough things, and I think uh, what I've learned is the more that I've faced those things head on, the better of a person and, and uh, you know, athlete and quarterback I've become. So I'll just try to continue to do that. So you got some things to work on. What are some skills or just some things that you see you need to work on? Uh, man, just be more efficient. You know, I think, um, I think watching, you know, watching Jake that last game, I think one thing he did was he was, he was very accurate uh, on the short throws. He was efficient in everything he did, screen game, uh, quick game. Um, you know, I kind of did the same thing, a self-assessment whenever Arbuckle played for the couple games that I was out. Um, you know, just kind of watching what he did because it's running the same offense and kind of seeing just, hey, okay, what is, what is he doing to be successful and what can I take from, you know, those games? Um, you know, I've kind of always done that in my entire career, whether it was from, you know, Ricky Ray, Kyle Vio, Riley, uh, guys like that. I think we all kind of try to steal from each other. So uh, when you have a guy out there running the same offense, you can see, you know, something he's doing and doing well. Um, you know, realize, you know, maybe, okay, maybe, maybe some things there that I can work on to, you uh, Continue to get better so that when it is, uh, you know, my number called, that uh, the offense runs smoothly. You when most mentioned of us not have... hitting the panic button, but I mean, you're the franchise guy. Has the last two weeks changed the way you view your future with the team? Uh, no, I mean, I, you know, it wasn't super public. We obviously came into the the year this year competing for the job, you know, and I, I felt great about winning it in training camp, um, you know. But uh, you know, things, you know, in some people's opinions, haven't gone the way that we want to. Um, you know, obviously, I view that differently. And uh, but the thing is, you know, we're we're, we're a successful team right now. Um, you know, we're doing well. We're not where we want to be. Uh, but we can definitely get there. And then, just as far as you know, my future, I'll, I'll deal with that when it comes. You know, there's, um, you know, obviously, always things for me to think about. But uh, you know, I don't get to control. Um, you know, technically, if you put me on the field or uh, if I'm here or not. So. But most of us have, you know, professional or personal disappointments. Like we're not under the, the magnifying glass for you. Is that why it was important to kind of just get out ahead of it and make that statement last week? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not it's not to slight anybody else that was, you know, I'm not going to try to hide hide from the, you know, who I'm talking about. I mean, like, you know, just the things that, you know, Cody had to go through and say. I, I just think it was uh, just learning from that, and I didn't want to come off, you know, in a, in a bad way. Uh, I wanted to kind of control the narrative and what I said and not have to deal with, um, you know, questions of, you know, why or how or what's going on. So, um, you know, that was just my way to kind of not on, on a short, short week, not become a distraction and allow us to focus on a game that was going to be very important for us. Have you had